I typically start out in the morning with uh, nymph setup and your standard pheasant tail uh, always does the trick and I've basically just tweaked that a little bit added some partridge and uh, some gray dubbing and and made more of a calabatus nymph and when that it starts to wane and they start to eat on the surface more I'm gonna go to a dun or a spinner pattern and this should carry me through until the wind kicks up. Uh, if you're lucky enough and you get to fish flat water in the afternoon, you can fish a damsel adult. And this is very, very fun. I, I've just recently come on to this and it's producing really, really well. Yeah! All right, <laughs> well done. So Josh, you were seeing calabatus, but you switched up to a damsel seeing those. So they're also an important food for these gulpers as well. Big fly, big fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you were saying that the browns have a definite uh, affinity to uh, the, the bigger lunch items. They'll yep. come in and eat the damsels yep. and maybe ignore the, uh, the uh, calabatus. This battle isn't over yet. No, no. Oh. Well done. Well done. It's challenging because the waters were very shallow. We're probably less than five feet. And the fish, when the water's calm, are random in their nature. They cruise all over the place. So it's tough to predict where they're gonna go next. But Josh saw this fish rise and put the fly in the area and I'll get my air out of the way. And he came up and slurped it so gently. He ain't done yet. Just get mine out of the way here. Reel in. A lot of energy. They're just bulldozers. They don't... Uh... So you've got browns and rainbows in here. Calabatus, damsels, chronomids. It's a still water heaven. And they're still going, eh? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll come back to that one. Can't land this fast enough. This will test the patience. <laughs> but the rewards are unbelievable. 5X? I got them on 4X, so good. But that's a heavy fish, so. That is a nice fish. All right. <laughs> Gulper fishing on Hebgen Lake. 